Following its renewed vigor to combat crude oil theft, pipeline vandalism and economic sabotage in the Niger Delta to improve oil production and revitalize the nation's ailing economy, the defense headquarters says its troops have denied crude oil thefts a sum total of 943 million, 161,680 naira and destroyed key infrastructure of criminal elements in the region. The Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, made the disclosure at a press conference this Thursday in Abuja. Let's now join Clevis Gloria Atta for details. The Niger Delta is the most important oil-producing region in Africa, with its oil providing 70% of Nigeria's revenue. However, alongside the legitimate trade in its oil products, there is a lucrative and organized illicit oil trade where the country reportedly loses 200,000 barrels of oil daily. Participants in oil theft, also called oil bunkering, steal oil from pipelines, refine the oil and sell to local, regional and international markets. This criminality has become a profitable business that cost the Nigerian government 3.8 trillion naira, approximately 105 billion US dollars in 2016 and 2017. Beyond the economic losses caused by the illegal oil industry in the Niger Delta, its effect on humans and environmental pollution have similarly been significant as regular spills of oil, arguably caused by oil theft and sabotage, have polluted the waterways, contaminated crops and other food sources, releasing toxic chemicals into the air. For years now, the Nigerian government, with the help of key security agencies, including the armed forces, have been at the forefront of combating crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism in a bid to protect the country's mainstay. At a press conference at the defense headquarters in Abuja this Thursday, the military high command told newsmen that the armed forces in recent times have recorded significant strides in its war on perpetrators of oil theft in the Niger Delta region, which has led to significant improvement in oil production in the country. Though we are not yet at where we want to be in terms of daily crude oil production, I can say that we are, we are on the right track. Accordingly, troops will sustain the renewed vigor and momentum till the nation's crude oil production target is achieved and exceeded. During the week under review, troops neutralized 147 terrorists and arrested 381 of them. We also arrested 23 perpetrators of oil theft and rescued 113 kidnapped hostages during the period under review. Now in the South-South, troops denied the oil theft of an estimated sum of over 943 billion naira. Furthermore, troops recovered 74 assorted weapons and over 3,000 3, assorted ammunition during the period under review. The troops in the Niger Delta area also discovered and destroyed 15 dugout pits and 27 storage tanks, among other items, destroyed. He speaks further on successful air operations carried out on illegal refining sites in some locations in the Niger Delta. These are illegal refining sites and canoes conveying illegal refined products. So what we have resulted in doing is striking these sites and destroying these products, thereby curbing the crude oil theft. In curbing the crude oil theft, we are boosting our ability to meet our OPEC quota and exceed it in the nearest future.
The fresh vigor in war against oil theft in Niger Delta areas followed a new directive by the president to the military, police, NNPC and other security agencies to improve production of crude oil in the region. Gloria Atta, reporting for Clearview News.